Lots of Australia are bracing for Cyclone Alfred, but you might wonder why do cyclones have names and how does it actually work? Because this was actually renamed due to this guy. Australia's current system of naming cyclones dates back to 1963, with the first one being Cyclone Bessie. Now before this, as far back as 1887, Australia was actually the first place in the world to give major tropical systems a personal name. The reason cyclones have names is to make it easier to communicate, it raises their profile, and it also avoids confusion if there are multiple happening at one time. Up until 1975, all cyclones had female names until the then science minister decided that it shouldn't just be women's names associated with destruction and now it alternates between male and female names. Now this was actually a world first. And the names themselves come from a pre-made alphabetical list and the names are reused unless the storm is so significant and then that name is permanently retired. That was the case with Cyclone Tracy, Larry and Marcia. Now a name will also be skipped if it's the same name as a prominent person of the day to avoid offence and avoid confusion. And that's what happened here. So Anthony was skipped and now it's Cyclone Alfred. 